I'm Dr. Les Lynette, and I hope to help you understand psychiatric problems. Parental alienation describes the behavior of a parent and, often, other family members who participate actively or passively in the severing of ties between a child and the rejected parent. The behavior of the alienating parent, along with participation by other family members, supports the child's remaining loyal to the aligned, favored parent. The pressure to participate in the alignment with the preferred parent can become so intense that the child gives up and totally rejects the other parent. The pressure to participate in the alignment with the preferred parent can also become so intense that other family members aid and abet the alienation, either by actively participating or unwittingly by remaining neutral. With their new parentless status, what does it mean to children to believe that one of their parents is not good enough to love? Unless justified by actual abuse, no child should have to hear that the other parent is unworthy because the child knows that the unworthy parent is still part of who the child is. Interestingly, some other family members take the position that they simply do not want to get involved. They take the position that the problem is between the rejected parent and the alienated child. I question whether such family members understand that parental alienation is emotional abuse, just as physical bruising leaves visible marks on a child's body. It harms children's development, including their self-esteem and their confidence in whom to trust. Are otherwise caring people simply ignorant? Are otherwise caring people failing, alienating children by not facing the reality of the abuse and damage to the child? Would such family members stand idly by during physical abuse of a child? Parents who destroy the bond between a child and the other parent generally operate free of reproach or disapproval. There is little that is done or can be done about them and their behavior. They tell others they are protecting their child and they make the child feel like the other parent is unworthy of a relationship with the child. Parents who are on the receiving end of the alienation are relatively helpless. They watch their child construct a wall that separates between parent and child. They watch their children sabotage their time with them in order to maintain loyalty to the alienating parent and perhaps loyalty to the family as they conceive it to be, a family with little or no need of the rejected parent. Alienated parents cannot help their own children because they are in the position of being the enemy. Just as we understand it is wrong to witness and allow physical abuse, it is wrong to witness and allow the emotional abuse that is part of parental alienation. Such children are being robbed of a parent. Rejected parent needs help from others because otherwise that parent continues to be seen as the enemy. Family courts often empower the alienating parent. Alienating parents are manipulative and very convincing. As a result, courts often support the alienating parent because of a lack of education, empathy, and knowledge of manipulation and indoctrination and brainwashing. Just as with domestic violence and with physical abuse, education about parental alienation to all age groups, including to siblings and peers, could empower them to help alienated children. Children talk to each other and often want to help. 
but if they are unaware of the manipulation that sometimes takes place in divorce and custody cases, they may stand idly by during the destruction of both the alienated child and the relationship between that child and the rejected parent. Unfortunately, other family members sometimes aid and abet parental alienation by taking the position that they do not want to get involved. Family members desperately need to understand parental alienation syndrome. They need to appreciate the parallels between physical abuse and emotional abuse of a child. At the same time, I want to express my appreciation for how difficult of how not only the alienated child, but also other family members, including siblings, may feel torn apart by what should merely have been a conflict between two parents. I want to express my appreciation for how they may unwittingly take sides in supporting the alienation by their passivity. But all it takes for evil to occur is for good people to do nothing. Now don't go away. You can see a preview of my entire playlist. Click here, and after clicking here, you will be taken to my channel where you may select the playlist either for this channel or for any of my other playlists of possible interest to you. I hope to see you on YouTube. Bye.